Ali, you know, our youth, our brothers, youngsters. Ash-shabaab is a min al In the Arabic pro, you say, shabaab, youth is a branch of insanity. We don't know what we're talking about many times. So this youngster who came into my office, you know, with earrings, with necklace, with, you know, tongue line on his head, you know, some trousers torn, and, and he was banging the door and he was, you know, head putting the lamppost. I said, what's wrong with you? Huh? I said, speak, Allah giving you your tongue. <laughs> you know, son, why are you, why are you behaving worse than an animal for me? Because are you the chef? Are you the mufti? I said, see, if you're going to, you know, behave like this, you know, you're going to be able to come into the office. Oh, okay, okay, you the chef, okay. I said, behave yourself. You know, this itch in your arm itch. This kind of behavior. It reminds me, Yazid ibn Muhalla rahimahullah ta'ala says, you know, I was, when I was young, I had this, you know, kind of pride and arrogance in myself. So I was walking with my chest out, stamping my feet. So Muttalib ibn Abdullah rahimahullah ta'ala, the pious sage of the time, he saw me and he said, my son, my youngster, you don't walk like this. He said, don't you know who I am? He says, oh, in, indeed I know who you are. And the beautiful words, he said, Allah, if we can imprint that in our mind and hearts, that will be enough for our lesson today. That we will never ever be boastful and arrogant. What did he say? He said, أَوَّلُكَ نُطْفَةٌ قَذِرًا وَآخِرُكَ جِيفَةٌ مَذِرًا وَأَنْتَ بَيْنَ ذَلِكَ حَامِلُ عَذِرًا Your beginning, your origin is that you are in pure semen. وَآخِرُكَ جِيفَةٌ مَذِرًا Your ending is that you are a decomposed body. But Buddha lash. And interim, in the interim, in between that, you are carrying waste in your body. The urine, the stool, the blood, the pus, all this in your body. And then you have the audacity to boast like this. insan. Allah frowns upon this so much that insan. <coughs> mankind be destroyed. Ma akfara, how ungrateful you are. Min ayi shayin khalaqa. From what thing Allah created you? Min nutfa. From that impure semen. If that touches you, you have to wash your body. If it comes out of your body, you have to have a faraz ghusl. Don't you remember a time came upon you? You're not even worth mentioning. Wallahu akhrajakum min buduri ummahatikum. La ta'lamuna shay'a. Wa ja'ala lakum musama'a wa la baswara wa la afrika la'allakum tatkumun. Allah took you out of the bellies of your mothers. You didn't have no understanding of anything. Shay'a, nakira, in depth, nothing. He gave you the faculties of listening, of seeing, of understanding. So you become grateful. What kind of people are we? So we need to take that on board, my brother, my sister, that our reality, that we have this, this is our reality. We have one hour. What are we going to do? Do or die, make or break. Allah has given us clear instructions through our Prophet ﷺ what we need to do. Ayahsabul insanu ayyutraka suda. Does mankind thing has been treated futile? Afahasibtum annama khalaqnakum abata wa antakum ilayna la turja'un. Do you think that you've been created futile, meaningless, without a reason? For nothing? And you're not going to be returned back? Allahu Akbar, we need to take a lesson. My brother, my sister, this is enough for us if we can take the lesson that have been taught to us by our scholars here. Alhamdulillah, it will be enough. <coughs> let us go back, let us reflect for a moment of time. Why have we come? What is the purpose? What are we going to take?